You know, I'm pretty sure Team Gohan is the reason this game sold so many copies. Like, we were all there watching the reveal trailer and we're like, yeah, this game looks pretty good, but I... <gasps> and I think when you combine that with the fact that he's such a fan favorite character, you get the reason that Arc System Works made sure that he was so top tier. Oh, wait, sorry, that's Adult Gohan. Uh, Team Gohan is... Oh, well, it's still probably a good idea to make a video covering the pros and cons of Teen Gohan anyway, because there's going to be a lot of people that play him regardless, and they might as well know what they're getting into. Let's start off by covering the cons of Gohan, and there's only really two that I really want to touch on. Con number one has to be that he is one of the shortest characters in the game, and I'm actually serious, this does matter a lot. Because of his size, his normals don't go very far, and in a lot of situations, you're going to get outranged by your opponent. I mean, Gohan's longest reaching normal is his down medium, and even then he has to slide into to danger like, like that, that's just bad form and the best part about it is you're going to be using that move a lot because it's how you get into your most optimal damage the second big con here for gohan is that his neutral is probably one of the worst in the game when you combine his small normals with the fact that he doesn't have any beams and the fact that most of his specials are more used for keeping pressure or mid combo extensions than actually getting closer to your opponent then you've got a character that's really going to struggle getting in if you've ever played team gohan you've probably had this experience when you're just trying to get in an opponent who has no interest in coming to you, and you just kinda have to fight that uphill battle until you eventually land a hit on him. Thankfully, after you land a hit, regardless of whether or not your opponent blocks it, this is where we start to see the real benefits of playing Team Gohan. If your opponent does manage to block against you, you can start conditioning them to get opened up by your mix-ups. Thanks to Team Gohan's lightning legs, this is made super easy. The light version of Gohan's lightning legs leaves no gap, so the opponent just has to keep blocking, while the medium version does leave a gap, but if you hit it, the reward is much better. You'll be able to mix them up with either an instant overhead or land and go for a low, or just throw in a traditional dragon rush for a bit of style. Like I said though, there is a gap, so if you don't want to end up being the one stuck in a combo, you should probably use an assist to cover it or make sure your opponent is very conditioned. If for whatever reason you fail to condition them throughout the entire match, but you also want the mix up and your assists are both dead, then you should probably take the loss. But uh, hey, between you and me, you can also spend a bar of meter to get the best of both worlds with your lightning legs but keep that on the down low and if for whatever reason you also got in that situation and have no meter then i don't know what to tell you you're gonna need more than a four minute internet guide to get out of that situation but what if your opponent doesn't block your attack and actually ends up getting hit well in that case we can just cut out the middleman of putting on pressure and just skip straight to gohan's second pro which is putting out a lot of damage because of gohan's bomb loops we get insane damage outside of the corner and if the opponent is in the corner then we just get insane damage regardless even if you only have one meter to spend you're looking at upwards of 5,000 damage. And if you do end up having a level 3, you're looking at a little more. And then if you use Gohan's level 5, then you should be looking at a dead character there. And as a bonus, if you do opt to go for the level 3 in the corner, you'll get the hard knockdown. And then if you make them block a hit, you can go straight into that block pressure we were talking about. It's actually pretty crazy. The only two things keeping myself personally from playing Team Gohan is the fact that I really don't like his 5LL. You know, my brain works pretty slow. I need that extra hit to let me know that I did make contact with my opponent and that it's safe for me to go into my combo. With Team Gohan, Gohan, if you do 5LL, you just leave yourself suspended in the air, and you can't go into a down medium with that. You know, you know, personally, I just think it sucks. The other thing keeping me from playing him is his assist. I didn't put it in the cons because it is still pretty useful, but usually I just prefer to run with assist to help me keep pressure during the neutral. Shout out to my boy Yamcha! But now that we know the pros and cons of Team Gohan, we can talk a little bit more about where he goes on a team. From my experience and from what I've seen, I see a lot of people choosing to run Team Gohan on point, and personally I do feel like this is the right way to go about it. Team Gohan needs those assists to make up for his lackluster neutral, so you might as well throw him out up front. And his assist by itself isn't really all too great, so you're not really losing too much from not having access to it earlier in the game. And hey, adding assists is actually a good way to get even more damage out of your combos. Some teams that work well under this principle are Team Cell Saga, Team Goku's Lineage, Team 23 and Me, and of course an actual good Team Gohan team. And so the answer for whether or not you should play Team Gohan is kind of up to you in the end. If you're looking for a point character who could use a couple of beam assists to back him up in the neutral, then maybe this character's for you. Added bonus points if you're looking for a character with cool looking combos as well. But if you're looking for a character that has some good range and handles himself well in neutral regardless of his assist, then you should probably skip Team Gohan here. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about Team Gohan down in the comments below, as well as who you want to see me cover next in a video like this. While you're down there, if you like these videos and the series and want to see more, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.